We're heading into space. We're going to the ISS, the International Space Station. Sounds exciting. It's not. Hey everyone, welcome back to Pop Rages. I'm Danny Alex. This is a spoiler free review. And at the end, I'll give you my score out of 10. So stick around. ISS, it's the new movie that pits three US astronauts against three Russian ones on board the International Space Station. When a nuclear war erupts on Earth, each side gets orders to take control of the space station with any means necessary. Now that would suggest murder if it's so required and launches us into a, how would I describe it? A uh, underwhelming hour of missed opportunities and unexplored human drama. The ISS is a relatively easy movie to analyze. A nuclear war breaks out and the two respective teams each receive messages to take control of the space station at any cost. Murderer. Oh, you know it, Gollum. And just like that, we have our tension and our stakes. It's a premise that's easy for audiences to understand and is actually a pretty good setup for a movie. Our characters are in a confined space and they added a time element where the station is going to burn up in the atmosphere if they don't get a hold of a space command on Earth to fire up the thrusters. No way to escape. Surrounded by deadly space, time is of the essence, three versus three, and the prospects of murder. But if you ask me, they f***ed it up. What a bunch of dumbasses. They did a relatively good job at developing a camaraderie between the US and Russian cosmonauts. Now, this is really important so that when they are plunged into conflict against each other, it will give a greater emotional meaning. It wasn't perfect, but it worked well enough to get me interested in what the writers came up with for the second and third acts. As a screenwriter myself, I had some ideas that I thought were awesome that would dial up the tension right up to 10. But then, I watched what they came up with and was completely disappointed with all of the missed opportunities they had to make this movie a real nail-biter. Well, that sucks. It had all the potential to be a classic sci-fi thriller. What we got were scenes that went on and on and did nothing to capture the claustrophobic nature of the setting. There was a spacewalk scene that was tedious and unreasonably long, as was all of the scenes that led up to the climax in the movie which landed pretty flat. I would have had one of the Russians be a covert KGB astronaut, a spy assassin kind of guy, similar to what the Soviets did when they placed a Politburo spy on ships and submarines. Make him a ruthless killer who is going to show no mercy in taking over the station, literally using any means. Murderer. You knows it to be true, Gollum. It could have been brawn against brains with scenes that flowed at a faster pace to establish tension, stakes, and emotional ups and downs. What this movie was really missing was a villain, the antagonist that was working against the US team and maybe even his two other Russian comrades. You Kremlin piece of <laughs> But what we actually got was seven or eight long, drawn-out scenes that underwhelmed and underdelivered on the absolutely unique setting and plot potential this movie had. ISS is most easily described as a huge missed opportunity to deliver audiences an amazing thrill ride in space. From a screenwriting perspective, the assembly line of ideas in my head was like working overtime with all of the possibilities this story had. It had huge potential, but they seriously dropped the ball completely. If you ever decide to watch this movie, you'll know exactly what I mean. The characters were bland and there was nothing about them that made any one of them stand out from the other. There were some strange sudden changes in character behavior that kind of made you do one of these faces. But they had to for the story to work. The way they wrote the second act leading us to the climax was for the most part, as I said, boring and didn't create any characters that truly stood out as real distinct personalities that you cared for. The movie was stuck in first gear through its entirety as each scene slowly crept from one to the other. This movie could have been an amazing sit on the edge of your seat nail biter, but instead we got a movie that was barely interesting enough to keep your attention. It needed a serious villain that would allow for an emotional roller coaster ride, but nope, none of that. Now, I'm not going to mention the one cringe scene where a character assumes that our gay female protagonist was married to a man, as it really wasn't that big of a deal. <laughs> yeah, I know, I mentioned it. This is not a movie you want to spend money on in the theaters. 
It will make for an okay Friday or Saturday night watch on the couch at home, but spending money to see it is something no one really has to do. Actually, this movie would have been a great Netflix sci-fi streaming release. ISS missed on the potential of huge opportunities to become what could have been a serious, tension-ridden sci-fi drama with a splash of horror. What a shame. On a score of 1 to 10, I'm giving ISS a score of 5. 5. And that's all I have to say about ISS. That's really too bad. And I will see you in our next video. Cheers.